Tony Plowski here at the Patriot League Men's Basketball Media Day with Lehigh head coach Brett Reed. Hi, coach. How you doing? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Glad to have you. So obviously everybody is wondering how you replace a player like C.J. McCollum, but I want to know what someone like him does for the future of your program, having him come through. Absolutely. You know, it, it's a unique thing because, unfortunately, we lost C.J. for most of last year. So we were going through that transitionary stage even then. But the interesting thing, some people will look at it as shoes to fill. And if we look at it that way, it's a daunting task because C.J. was able to rewrite a lot of the Lehigh and Patriot League record books. However, I'd rather look at it in a different way in that there's a footprint, there's a path, there's a model for success. And if other players, particularly younger players, can look at that path to success, it may give them direction to follow. Mackie McKnight and Anthony DeRazio are your returning starters. Can you talk a little bit about them and what you hope to see from them this year? Absolutely, happy to. Um, I think Mackie McKnight is someone who has ultimately become what will be a four-year starter for our program. He's been battle-tested. We've seen him play particularly well, especially in big stages. And now he has the opportunity and the responsibility to really have the ball solely in his court. It's up to him not only to make the decisions on the floor for our program, but also set the model of consistency that we hope that he can do from a leadership standpoint. Anthony DeRazio is somebody who has played, grown, and developed within our program. And uh, he has the benefit of having four years of collegiate experience behind him. He is somebody that has uh, athleticism that's a little bit sneaky. He can make some perimeter shots. He's a fairly strong passer. Um, but those players, in addition to some of our other returning players, such as Corey Schaefer, Steph Severkai on the perimeter, will be pretty critical to us. Losing McCollum was big, but the presence in the paint that you lost with the graduation of Gabe Knutson and Holden Greiner may be equally tough. How do you see uh, replacing them this year? That's going to be a challenge as well. We got a tremendous amount of point production from Gabe Knutson and Holden Greiner. They were people that we were reliable scorers for our program. Now as we move forward, we have to initiate new players into that role. We have some that have been able to play some spot minutes along the front line, but we have some new players that I think will make a more immediate impact. Tim Kempton is a freshman for our program who has size, he has strength, he has a, a very good feel for the game of basketball, soft hands and a good touch, and I think he can help anchor our offense. Uh, somebody else that's new to our program as far as being able to compete is Jesse Chuku. And although Jesse is a different type of forward than we've had with some of the hybrids that really have strong perimeter skills, he has used this last year to improve his perimeter skills. He has a better understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. And his length and athleticism can make him a formidable opponent. With all those new faces, how do you develop the chemistry on the court that you want in order to you know, go the long haul for the season? Well, it's something that I think takes place even off the floor. Chemistry comes from relationships. People develop trust through spending time together. Our players have been very intentional about having a family atmosphere. And part of that is not just talk, it's actually engaging each other, setting standards and models where they're gonna eat lunch together and, and do different things like that and get to know each other on a personal basis. And then that chemistry continues to grow and develop as players learn to be able to rely upon each other. Defensively, they're gonna help a teammate knowing that somebody will help them. Offensively, they're going to make an extra pass because they know their teammate has worked hard on their game and they're ready to convert. It's developing that trust. Absolutely. Well, Coach, thanks so much for your time. Good luck this season. Thank you.